Hi everyone, this is Abhina from Phone Bunch, and today we will be doing the user interface walkthrough of the Nokia X. So in the front you have the start screen which is also your app drawer. So every app that you install directly goes here and they will install one by one at the bottom of the interface. Several apps come pre-installed including here Maps, Nokia Mixed Radio, as well as the Nokia Camera app, Facebook, Twitter as well as BBM. If you swipe from the left or if you swipe to the right, you have the Nokia Fastlane which is your multitasking UI as well as shows all the different notifications that your phone has. If you move to the top, you have the status bar as well as the quick toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Sync and changing your sound profile. And then you can switch to settings as well. So you'll find the common settings here for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, storage, display, battery, apps. It's pretty much like any other Android device here. Let's get into about phone. So you can see here it's RM980 and it's running the new version that's a new update. 1.1 which came a few days back It brought some performance improvements and nothing major So this is the back button and it's the only button that you can find on the entire interface Let me just show you how that works So let's say I go into mobile and data networks. Let's get into tethering and mobile hotspots So here you see you have USB Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi tethering so if I press the back button once, you go one screen back and if I long tap on it, so if I long tap on it, you directly go to the home screen. So it acts like a home button as well on long tapping. Other than that, it behaves like a contextual back button and takes you one screen back at a time. Now let me show you how to minimize apps. So we have open file explorer. If you long tap on the back button, it takes you to home and therefore the app is minimized and you can see it in the Nokia fast lane. And if you tap it from the fast lane, you directly jump back to the app. So you can multitask through the Nokia fast lane. Those notifications in Android are shown above in the status bar. Let's say you want to uninstall an app. So all you need to do is long tap on it and then click on the cross button. Yes, it's just that easy. And then you get two more options. The first one is for app folders. So you can create your own app folder. Let's say we create a games folder. It's created right there. And then you can drag the tiles of the apps within it. Just like that. So we have added all of them. And then you can rearrange the tiles up to your needs. You cannot customize the color of the folder tiles. However, you can customize the size as well as look of the other tiles. This has been added with 1.1 update, especially the colors. So I've increased the size and then you can change the colors of the third party tiles too. Now let me show you one more option. On long tapping, there was another icon, that one. You can add widgets on your home screen as well. So the widgets are not missing on the Nokia X. Let me just get that again. So this is the music widget and you can see that I have added the widget to the home screen and you can press play and listen to music just like that. So widgets also work on the Nokia X quite fine. All you need to do is add it like that and you can verify it's working fine by going into Nokia Fastlane. You can play music or pause it from right here as well. Now let's talk a bit more about Fastlane. So you can delete some of the recent history yourself as well just like that. All you need to do is long tap on it and then tap on the cross mark if you want to delete something. You can even reply to messages directly like that and they appear in the default messaging app. So it works quite like default Android where you would see these notifications in your notification bar if you pull it down from the top. And you can get rid of all of these recent history and notifications just like that by tapping on the delete button. You can also customize which apps are able to show notifications and history in Fastlane. First of all, you can also show banners on the lock screen as well as a preview of the notification. At present, we don't have any notifications. I'll show that to you later on. So coming back, you have some settings for Fastlane as I was saying. You can customize which apps are able to show notifications from right here. You can select or deselect apps which can show their notifications on the fast lane just like that very simply. 
and you can also manage history so if an app has been deselected it won't show up in your usage history every app as well as settings and everything are available right here and you have a shortcut for social networking as well now let me just show you how to side load apps first I'll uninstall subway servers which we had side loaded earlier so uninstall is complete now let me go back now I'll get into the file explorer I've already downloaded the APK from another phone and here we are you can see subway surfers APK it's just the same package that you install on your other phones but automatically here we are going to side load it it's installing and there you have it I'll just open that app to show you that it works quite fine there you see it has opened up perfectly so you can side load most of the games as well as apps on the Nokia X except for Google services you would need to root your phone to install those now this is Nokia Mix Radio which we have seen on Nokia Lumia smartphones so I'll just type in an artist's name and it will search for that artist automatically and start playing songs online and you can even download these songs for free for three months so there you are we are going to listen to Imagine Dragons and there you have it it had started playing the new song you can even download a song as I said just like that and you see you have a legal download for offline listening and it's a very cool interface to play you can create your own mixes as well offline mixes too for the files that have already been downloaded and you can skip some tracks too well coming back you can see in the Nokia fast lane you have a notification for the download as well as the music that is currently playing which you can pause and see it went to the top so Nokia fast lane is your multitasking UI and you can see the notification I was talking about earlier it shows the notification as well as a small preview of what's going on this is Nokia glance screen it shows you the time as well as notifications that you have the Nokia X also has a universal search feature so all you need to do is scroll to the top and then you can just type in whatsoever you are looking for let's say I want to play Asphalt 8 so I can just search for that and it searches in the installed apps as well or let's say I want to have a look at latest news so I'll search for that online and it will directly take me to the default browser that's the Nokia Express browser which compresses data to up to 90 percent and there you have your search results right there now one more thing about the Nokia UI is that you don't have a menu button so all the menus are actually available by swiping from the bottom of the display where you have three small rows which show that there is a menu right there I'll show you that in the phone UI as well so this is the default dialer interface it's very simple to use you can configure which sim to use from the top status bar and since there is no menu key all you need to do is just swipe from the bottom for your default menu and you can close it by just swiping from the top it's really easy to use and if you have ever used an Asha device it has exactly the same interface now this is the camera interface of the Nokia X let me just take an image I have saved that now let's have a look at the interface first then we will talk about the images so at the bottom you have an option to take a panorama shot or a video or an image that we are in at the top you can choose to go into the gallery and you can increase or decrease zoom from the top with the plus and minus signs you have a small slider there you can change white balance or exposure levels and then there are the settings you have noise reduction face detection as well as saturation contrast levels as well as sharpness you can change the picture size picture quality and add a color effect and most importantly you can choose whether to save it to the memory card or to your internal storage this is video so you have white balance settings a time lapse settings as well and you can record videos up to a maximum resolution of FWVG that's 854 by 480 pixels then there are settings for the video encoder if you want to change that from H.264 to MPEG-4 then you have video duration you can change it to 30 minutes color effects power mode as well as where you want to save your videos now coming back to the image that we had taken earlier you have the same menu options available here as in any other Android device 
You can set it as wallpaper, rotate left, right or delete it or share it as well. You can edit it as well so that you can add various filters to it. So you can fill light, highlight shadows like I've just added some shadow to it. And then you have posterize documentary. These are all different filters that are available on any other Android device as well, running Android 4.2 or above. So no color saturation because there are no colors in the image. You can crop it, rotate it, flip it and sharpen the image as well. So several other options are available. So that was the gallery interface for the various images. Although the user interface is a lot different from default Android, still it feels quite familiar and easy to use as well. And I found myself working quite fast once I got used to it. We'll be back with lots more on the Nokia X. You can watch our asphalted gameplay of the Nokia X, its gaming review, as well as unboxing from right here. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, just hit us in the comment section. This was Abhinav Patak. Thank you and have a great day.